Chances are you are not driving your car as much as you were before state and local stay at home orders went into effect. That could be good news for your car insurance rates. Many companies are giving drivers refunds on their premiums. Denver 7's Katie LaSalle talked to an insurance expert to find out what you can do to save a little money. Joining us now is AAA insurance expert Skylar McKinley. And Skylar, this is an interesting time for all of us, but today we're curious specifically about insurance and why are so many auto insurers issuing refunds to premiums now? Yeah, and you're seeing this across the country. We think 82% of all Americans are getting some sort of refund from their auto insurer. That number is likely to grow. I want to stress that the insurance companies aren't doing this because they have to. They're doing it in many ways because it's the right thing to do. The reason they're able to do this is because they've got extra money. They, the way insurance works is when they calculate your initial premiums, what you're going to pay throughout the year, they basically estimate how many crashes they're going to have to pay out on. We know that traffic across the country has dropped by 50% and more in many places. Less traffic means fewer crashes. Fewer crashes means little to no payouts, meaning they've got extra money. And in these challenging times, I want to give them credit for doing the right thing and passing that money on to their customers. That's really nice to hear. It's the right thing to do. And how can people then get their refunds and how else can we all save money at this time? Yeah, the nice thing about the refund is that it's going to be automated. So however you last paid your premium on an installment or if you prepay, it's going to come back to your credit card. If you pay by check, it'll come by mail. Check your email. The details will probably be in there from your insurer. That's also a good time to just think about your insurance, but what I want to advise is absolutely don't cancel. Even if you're not driving your car at all, canceling might mean higher rates later. Mm -hmm. uh, if your mileage is coming down though, now's a good time to call your insurer and say, hey, I'm working from home and, and I'm going to be for a while. I'm not an active commuter. They can usually get you some savings there. There are discounts that you should always be in the habit of checking on related to your driving habits and history. Finally, now's a great time to shop around. It is a volatile economy. Insurance companies want to keep their customers. They know a lot of other insurance companies are offering competitive refunds. So when in doubt, just remember that you can negotiate your insurance. Um, do it respectfully, be kind to the agent, um, but you can ask about why things cost what they cost. These are great tips. And any other advice related to insurance? I think what people don't know is that they think insurance is just one of those things that you have to pay and you have to pay a certain amount and it's locked in stone. Insurance is a personalized product. So as your life changes, you should change it. Some people don't know how to change it, which is why I always say, well, work with a local agent. If I needed to make a change to my policy, I could just call up one guy. He's going to pick up the phone. He's going to ask some questions. He's going to ask me how my dog is, for example, and then he's going to make adjustments. So always work with a local agent. And if you need help finding one, we've got some on our website at AAA.com slash insurance. That's great, Tiffany. She's got my back. And Skylar, thanks for having our backs and giving us so much great advice now. See you soon.